let's try. What's up guys, hope you're having a great time. Welcome back to yet another vlog. Tashi the Leg from McLorganj. So before we explore the food, we are at the St. John in Wilderness, the Angelic Church. Uh, it was built in 1852 and located near Dharamshala, of course. This is set between the Deodar forest all around, the Deodar trees. And it's very famous, a lot of people, a lot of tourists visit here. So, you can see the church in the church. Uh, beautiful, it's the surroundings, the atmosphere, it's very peaceful. After that, a famous place in the main bazaar of McLeod Ganj, I'm going to lunch. A few times ago, we made a video on the Hotel Kailash. There is a dish that is made. Uh, they don't prepare it every day. So last time I came, I didn't get it. But this time, it's available. I already confirmed it. We will go there. The hotel Kailash. And we are going to try that dish. I am forgetting the name. But as we reach there, I will show you. It's so peaceful here. It's fun. We are sitting here for a little bit. We are enjoying it. After that, the church it was really beautiful with amazing architecture and the Belgian glass windows but uh, unfortunately the photography was prohibited inside uh, church visit Kali and now we are going for lunch at Hotel Kalash Kailash Hotel and uh, with me is my new friend Sonam and uh, we have ordered uh, Kuma. it's the Tibetan sausages all right and uh, he's gonna accompany me and uh, this is what it looks like so we're gonna try with the chopsticks very traditional way please try Kuma. What? <laughs> it's, it's, it seems very good. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you gotta tell me something about this uh, this preparation, you know? Yeah. This is home recipe. Ah. So it's in under moon, like blood, blood, sushi, ashwan ata. Okay. Uh, you, can, you can also use atta. Atta or sushi. Flour as well. Mm. And then um, meat. Meat. Minced meat. meat. Yeah. Minced meat. And um, salt. Um, citron pepper. And uh, that's it. It's called. How do you spell it? Uh, G Y. G Y U M A. M A. Guma. Guma. So let's try. Mm. 
good talk. The taste is good. I liked it. It's fried. Eh? But so it is very rich. Very rich in flavor, yeah, right? Very rich in flavor. And uh, it's very mild also. It's not like uh, very spicy or very, uh, you know. But I think, is it the authentic way of uh, having this? Yeah. yeah. Authentic style? This is authentic style. Right? Uh -huh. We can make it more delicious by eating a lot of different veggies as well. Mm. Yeah. The ingredient it depends on you. you know, yeah. Whatever you like to eat. Yeah, what, 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 what exactly is this, the covering? That is intestine. That is the intestine, no? Yeah. So, the back in Tibet, since Tibet is very situated in a high altitude, so we mostly depend on our, our food, very fatty food. That's why a lot of Tibetans over here are mostly, you know, highly dependent on our, our meat, the habit of eating meat. It's not like we are Buddhist and we are corn, kill, that question, you know. But it, it is highly dependent on the geographical effect on us. The altitude of Dharamsala over here is 1,400 meters above sea level. Yeah. But the average average altitude in Tibet is uh, 5,400. Okay. So it's like way higher up there. Hmm. So we have to depend it on a fatty and heavy. It's stomach. easy to digest also. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And especially when it's a winter, with harsh winter, the crops and the veggies, they, it's a hard to grow at that altitude. So we dependent, dependent highly on the meal. And you can uh, always uh, finish the meal with the herbal tea or butter tea, right? Exactly, yeah. We start, uh, Tibetans, I think we drink a lot of tea. You know, a lot of tea. Especially yeah. green tea. So thanks Sonam for talking. And we'll finish the meal now. Yeah, you should. Yeah. And it uh, looks really good. Uh, I would, uh, I can come back here for some more uh, snacks like these again. So I hope you enjoyed the video uh, we have shown something different for you so whenever you come to McLaurganj it's not just that you explore the Indian Italian Chinese food but you can have the authentic typical Tibetan snacks as well right yeah. hope to see you again next time till then take care <coughs> subscribe yeah Tang, no? <laughs> so she works at Kailash hotel so cheers bye 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 bye